Thank you, Bert, for holding this event this evening. My name is Mark Fisher, F-I-S-C-H-E-R. My company, LW Survey, is an international pipeline survey firm based in Minnesota. We have 13 offices strategically located in our near every major oil field in the United States, including one in Lancaster County, where I'm out of, serving the East Coast. I've been around pipelines my entire career in the oil and gas industry, and I can tell you firsthand that safety standards for these lines, transmission lines, from cathodic protection, welding x-rays, hydrostatic testing, anomaly checks, automatic, automatic shuttle clouds, and other technological advances and protocols make transmission lines by far the safest method for transporting oil, gas, and liquids. With more than two and a half million miles of pipelines in the United States, there are about 320,000 miles of transmission lines. Of all the accidents in the United States since 2003, accidents involving highly regulated transmission pipelines, like the Atlantic Sunrise Project, account for 0.03% of those accidents, almost zero. Spills and releases have declined by 32% in that same time period. For pre-1950 vintage lines, accidents have defined by 83%. The amount of misinformation that surrounds new projects, especially in areas where pipeline construction is relatively new, is at best misguided and at worst spear marker. Car accidents, plane crashes, train wrecks, even shark attacks and bee stings pose a much greater threat to us than a transmission pipeline poses. Unfortunately, those facts don't fit the narrative that the pipeline opponents seem intent on promoting, that we can't live in a world with pipelines and treat our environment correctly, which is exactly what the world we've been living in happening and safely for generations. The Marcellus Munich Shale Basins have presented Pennsylvanians and Americans as a whole the generational opportunity to once again compete on a global scale. By doing so, we increase our national security while ensuring our own energy independence through an American technology with American workers using American ingenuity to develop an American resource. And pipelines, like the Atlantic Sunrise Project, are a critical component to achieving these very American ideas. President Obama's proposed Clean Power Plan recognizes the important role natural gas is going to play in our country's energy portfolio. Under the federal plan, natural gas will provide the largest share of power generation by 2030. Considering these facts, I encourage the FERC to finalize the environmental impact statement and approve this project. Thank you.